Are you aware of the vast array of solar thermal collectors available for producing hot water? We're just not talking about residential hot water, but collectors for optimizing higher temperatures for industrial processes or lower temperatures for pool heating. Selecting the best collector for your thermal application project can make all the economic difference in the world. After all, the ultimate goal of going solar is to save money while reducing your environmental impact, isn't it? Hi, I'm Peter Biondo at iSolar Hot Water Academy. Join me as we explore the various types of solar thermal collectors so that you could make the best choice for your specific solar hot water application. To provide you with a basic understanding, all solar thermal collectors we'll be discussing today operate by circulating a thermal fluid, typically water or an antifreeze solution through them. The fluid collects heat from the collector and transfers it to a storage vessel of some kind, which could be a pool, a residential hot water tank, or even a large-scale commercial storage vessel. In some cases, solar thermal fluids can even be pumped through a radiant floor heating system. With so many collector options available, ranging from flat plate and evacuated tube designs to concentrating troughs and PV thermal hybrids, selecting the right collector can make or break the economics of any solar thermal project. So choosing the most efficient and cost-effective collector that is suitable for your specific need is crucial in maximizing your investment and achieving optimal solar performance. Whether you're a homeowner looking to buy or work as a design engineer, a plumber, a design-build contractor, or a solar entrepreneur, I'll guide you through the benefits and drawbacks of each type so you can make better choices for domestic hot water, pool heating, and high temperature commercial or industrial processes. What's great about solar thermal collectors is that they have the highest solar conversion rates available, typically ranging from 50 to 80%. What sets collectors apart though is their ability to collect solar energy against heat loss. As the fluid temperature flowing through the panels rise and outdoor temperatures drop, collectors will lose more heat. While all collector types are effective in warm climates for low temperature applications such as pool heating, glazed models maintain better efficiencies in cold outdoor climates, and more expensive high-tech models will produce the highest temperatures effectively for commercial and industrial processes. But as it goes, the more high-tech the collector, the more care must go into the design and installation of the system to manage the risk of system failure. So it's all important to match up collectors to the application temperature. So it stands to reason that different collector models are better suited for specific thermal processes for various climates. For instance, unglazed collectors are the perfect economical choice for low temperature heat, such as for pools in a mild or warm climate. Flat plates or evacuated tube collectors are better suited for domestic hot water temperatures up to 160 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 to 90 degrees Celsius. For high temperature processes, well over 200 degrees to 400 degrees or 100 to 200 degrees Celsius, higher tech models that concentrate solar energy in a vacuum tube are the optimal choice provided solar energy is plentiful. To have the most cost-effective energy-saving strategy match the appropriate collector model to your specific application. As a rule, you don't want to spend more money on higher tech collectors if you don't need them. Similar to tires, the selection of collectors for a solar thermal application is critical for the system's overall performance. Just as tires can greatly impact your driving experience, solar collectors play a vital role. They are the point of contact with the sun's energy, where the rubber meets the road. So you wouldn't ordinarily install monster tires on the car you drive, or drive with skinny tires on a highway full of potholes. Matching tires to the car and the road is equally as important as matching a collector to a hot water application in your environment. Why is this so important? Well, mismatching collectors to a solar heating application can result in operational errors, and a lot of unnecessary expenses. A prime example is the Lake Havasu City Aquatic Center, situated in one of the hottest places on earth in the Mojave Desert. It's puzzling why evacuated tube collectors were chosen in a hot climate for low temperature pool and medium temperature hot water heating. 
Perhaps for the same reasons, the collectors were installed flat, in spite requiring a minimum 15 degree pitch. The engineers who designed the system lacked the necessary knowledge and expertise in solar technology and may have followed the guidance of a sales agent. I would classify this completed project as a Cadillac with monster tires, a luxurious ride for more than what you need with a steep price tag for this road. So to explain how to match up the system with a more favorable collector in hot climates that see over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, day after day, months at a time, flat plate collectors with black paint absorbers are a perfect choice. They are least expensive glazed models and are better heat dissipators when it's scorching hot outside. The system wouldn't need a selective coated absorber that adds to the expense. Unglazed plastic collectors could also have been a viable option, just as it had at the Palazzo's 200,000 square foot collector array on the Las Vegas Strip, which heated the resort pools, spas, and hot water. Another solar option for hot desert climates are hybrid PV thermal collectors. By cooling the PV collection surface with a thermal fluid, electrical output from the panel should remain stable even in the hottest of outdoor temperatures, while making hot water. I'm only familiar with the concept. I can't speak to the nuts and bolts or serviceability of this technology. But what I can tell you that's important to know about emerging collector technology is that without an experienced technical support staff, you could find yourself out on a limb and possibly in a lot of hot water and trouble designing and installing unsupported solar thermal technologies. So how can we ensure you get it right? In the next video, I'll delve into the collector models so you can master making the better choices. Before you go, let me share with you a valuable tip. By comparing the energy performance from different types of collectors, you can choose the better collector model for your system and avoid unnecessary expenses. And in some cases, even avoid a mismatched failure. You learn this by plugging in to System Advisor Model, free software developed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. You'll eliminate a lot of uncertainty and design better systems knowing how to compare your solar collectors. I have a short course to master comparison modeling. It's free like the software and it's yours to keep. So get it now. Get your free training at www dot i solar hot water dot com when you open the website you'll see the link for the registration page then click here for the next video and see how different collectors work so that you can choose the best model for your solar thermal system